One, two, three, four. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, are the best of friends. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, fun that never ends. No matter what the weather, we sing out loud together. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, never want to stay at home. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, just like salt and pepper. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, have their fun one night. No matter what the weather, we sing out loud together. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, never want to stay at home. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, never want to stay at home. Tina, Tony, Tina, Tony, never want to stay at home. Making a circus. Good. So this goes here. Hmm. Hello. Hi, Tony. You doing magic? That's not it. I'm an animal tamer. <laughs> okay. Where are they? Well, I don't really have any, so I pretend. That won't huh? work. You need the real thing. Let's go! <laughs> Candy is impossible to resist for any animal. But, uh, I don't think there are wild animals here. You wouldn't know, because you've never caught one. Huh? Quick, hide! Circus with us? Huh? You have to jump through a hoop that might be on fire. Through a hoop and with weights? What do you mean, weights? You need a strong man, no? But I'm a tamer, so, um. Well, uh. <laughs> there goes that. You don't need him. There's plenty other options. We'll catch a real scary predator. And he'll jump through the hoops. As long as they don't mind. <laughs> huh? Oh, no. Let me out of here. I gotta go tend to my garden. Sorry. Do you want to be in the circus with us? Yeah. Tony will be the tamer, and you'll be the beast. <sighs> Do it? Huh? We can be untamed animals. You guys aren't wild animals. Oh, oh yeah? yeah? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not huh? tame. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our show. I am Tony the Magnificent with my wild pig, <laughs> Ali. <laughs> Whoa. Stop that! Down! Just leave me alone! That's not how this works. Do what Tony says. <laughs> like this. Are you? Nah, we're good. Yeah, we're wild animals. <laughs> Should have seen that coming. But there's still hope. Elephants make a great circus performer. Huh? Alley -oop. Uh, uh. Ugh. This isn't working. Nobody wants to play circus. Just one more try. <laughs> What's that? What's all that racket? Tell me it's not an earthquake! <laughs> <laughs> By chance, need a strong man, do you? And a magician? And beasts? Well behave! You'll take everyone! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the magic carrot. I'm sure she's here somewhere. <laughs> 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 
She's gone forever. My favorite doll is gone. My Mushka. <laughs> Don't cry, Tina. She's not gone. I'm sure she just went uh, on a carriage. To where? To the magical doll place where all the toys go. You're making things up. Stop it. <laughs> it's true. I saw it myself. Yesterday, a carriage came. A golden one, and she got on. A carriage. Come on, let's go. Uh, go where? Where else? To find the golden carriage, silly. Hey, check this out. It definitely came from the carriage. Uh, okay, sure did. Definitely, Tina. <laughs> Look, the carriage came this way. These are the tracks, and this is the stuff. Sit. We wait for the carriage to come. Then we'll be on our way to see her. Uh, well, a uh, thing about that is actually... Shh. Listen. That's it. I hear it. <sighs> Good morning, Tina. What are you doing? I'm waiting here for the golden doll carriage to come. Golden what now? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny, you guys? <laughs> There's, There's no such thing, Tina! <laughs> <laughs> of all the ridiculous things! <laughs> it's real, you'll see! <laughs> Tina? Good evening, Bear. Thought you were a carriage. What does that mean? The doll carriage. It carries dolls. Sounds fun. Have you checked its schedule? Maybe it only runs Wednesdays or something. Those are Bear's bike tracks? And those are the carriage tracks? That's suspicious. It can't be, because bears are going there, and that one's there. <laughs> still waiting on your magic bus thing? Can't believe you still think this is real. It is real. Why would there be a stop and see there's tracks? Huh? Uh, that's from Bear's bicycle. That's right. I remember. From, from when we gave him Bear and his tire. <laughs> Good times. Walk back home with us, Tina. It's getting dark. I guess there's no carriage, and my doll's gone for good. Beep, beep. Hey, what's that weird sound? Whoa! A carriage. Whoa! Whoa. Oi! The Lost Doll Express awaits. If you please, m'lady. Ah. Sorry, Tina. I made all that carriage stuff up before. That's all right, Tony. It did come after all. This is great. Welcome to Lost Doll Express. Next stop is Cookie Village and other things. Beep beep! <sighs> Should have just installed a real horn. Here, I'll help. Mushka! Tony, it's her we found! Mushka, I'm so happy we found you. How to rescue rescuers. There's a hole here. Watch out, Tina. Uh -huh. oh. Tina, are you okay? The cat's falling into a trap. See, Tony? I see. You need to watch where you're going, Tina. But can I rescue the cat if I'm looking where I'm going? And who's going to rescue you while you're rescuing the cat? Don't worry, Tony. Rescuers don't need rescuing. Bird 
its nest. We need to save it. Cat first. Okay, I'll do it myself. Come here, birdie. Hmm. <laughs> uh. a lot of cats? Not one. So, you just stay quiet. Leave this to the professionals. Just that, you lost another piece. Not to worry, I'll find it. Oh, hi, little sneaky piece. It's not like I want to lose each time, but at least I don't get lost under stuff. <laughs> I've never seen that tiny door before. Huh? Neither have I. That's weird. Achoo! Whoa. What on earth is this? It's a map. A key, too. Do you think that Granny left us a treasure? <laughs> I think we should just put it back. Anyway, it's probably all dusty. No oh. way, Tony. Can't pass up a treasure. Wonder what kind of treasure it is. Maybe a magic wand? <sighs> I'm pretty sure wands aren't real. Look, I see a rope bridge. Will that rope bridge even hold us? Only one way to find out. 
Wait, we shouldn't cross that. You know what we should do instead? Go and play checkers. Don't be scared. Ah, hey, Tony, this thing is rocking. Ah, this was a bad idea. Hang on, okay? Why would I not hang on? <sighs> Thanks, Tony. Ah, this isn't so bad. We're okay. Let's go. I'm getting kind of hungry now. Yeah, me too. Ooh, what if the treasure is a magic picnic blanket? We'll just say abracadabra, and the tea and cookies will magically appear. Why would we need that? A backpack works fine. And abracadabra, here's your tea. Ah. Here, donuts too. Tony, it's you who has the magic. X marks the spot. And this is the spot. All right. Oh man, we forgot to bring a shovel. What will we do now? Wow, Tony, you plan for everything. I'll go and dig it up. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Here. It's a flying carpet. We'll hop right on and be home in a split second. What are those things? Looks like money. Except it's weird. I don't think it'll buy us ice cream. I guess this treasure's useless, huh? Not quite. I bet we can use these. Give you one guess how. Still would have liked the magic carpet. I can't believe it. You won. That's the first game I've ever won. Since these things really are magical checker pieces. I guess they are. Thanks a lot, Granny. Just us two. Yes! Yes, yes! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. This is a bad hula hoop. That's a ship's wheel. Now we just need to build a ship to go with it. Yeah. Let's go for a sail, Tina. We need a crew. I'll be the crew. Tina, we don't need anybody else. But it's more fun with other people. Tino, are you my friend? I am. Then act like it, or else my feelings will be hurt. Uh-huh. It's okay. I'll go hang out with the other piglets. If we play with the boys, one of them will end up being captain. Exactly. This way I can be captain. What's 
wrong? The lookout has been swept overboard! Hi to starboard! Jiggling jellyfish! No one knows the current here better than me! Tina, do you need any help? This ship needs a crew! Hard to starboard, I said! We still got a shot at survival, sweet, slippery seaweed! Bravo, helmsman! What a storm! The whole deck is soaked! So tidy up! What does our course look like? Our course is... Uh, we've got... Where's Ahoy? Straight ahead! We've discovered an uncharted shore! Prepare to disembark! Tina's in... Tony, too! I'm looking, The whole looking. deck is covered in water! We're this big! Big! Palm tree! Hard to port! <laughs> Hard to starboard! Where are you off to? I didn't want to play with you, and now you won't want to play with me. You know, this crew could use a little something to eat after that storm. And you know who the ship's cook is, right? Aye, aye! I am! And I decided to assist the cook. We have such a bold captain, and a cook is the real deal! With a crew of friends like this, we can discover all sorts of lands. I think we should name this discovery the Shore of True Friendship. Hooray! 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 A not so still life. <laughs> That's only six at most. Well, fine. But you kept moving around. I know. Hm. How about we stop drawing portraits and instead do landscapes? Oh, okay. <laughs> What's that? A landscape just means we paint the outside. Why do we need to go to a tree to draw? Ugh. I remember how trees look. I'll imagine a tree. Like that one. Or like that one. Any imaginary tree. That's not the point, Tina. These drawings aren't supposed to be imaginary. Landscapes are drawing what's real. Trees are the perfect thing to draw. They're still. They won't move around while you draw. It's great, huh? So which of these trees will be our subject? Maybe a pine tree or an oak or... Huh? The apple, apple tree. tree. So, how does one start these, uh, landscapes? It's simple. Just paint exactly what you see. Hmm. Ah. First you paint the branches, then mm -hmm. the leaves, and under those tasty apples. Make sure to get the bark stripey. Oh, what's that? What are you doing? What does it look like? I made a bear. What's a bear doing there? Nothing. He's having a good time. I mean, why did you draw a bear? He told me to draw what I see. And over there, I happen to see a bear. Ugh! Am I supposed to draw the ice cream penguin too now? Actually, both of my subjects are leaving. Now there's nobody to draw. That's why you should draw just nature and trees. They never go anywhere at all. They always stay in one place. You forgot that nature also has very bouncy rabbits. Look at them hop. Bird ball. Oh, look. There goes the rest of the apples. <laughs> Did you at least manage to draw the apples while they were still on? Yep. Now I have to erase them. What a pain to do. I'm not finished yet. I wasn't trying to look anyway. So now that the apples are inside the bear, how do what? I draw them? You don't. I told you, only draw what you see. I see rabbits having a really bad day. That's just heartbreaking. Focus on your painting. Hey, Bear's back. He brought the ice cream with him. I'm not even going to try drawing ice cream. That'll disappear immediately. 
Now the penguin disappeared, too. This is turning out to be a very interesting subject. <laughs> Whatever Bear is doing, it looks like fun, right? Well, there they go. Now to focus. This tree just needs a few finishing touches on the branches, and we'll be all... Hey! What's going on? Huh? Huh? Phew. All done. You're done? Show me. Well, it's not very realistic, but it's okay. Don't feel bad. Not all landscapes can be as realistic as mine what is. on earth? Where's the tree? Didn't have room for it. No big deal. Nature is tough. Next time we'll try Impressionism. Plenty. Heads up. Come on. Here you go. Yaha! Whoops. I've got this. Balloon, come back. Things aren't afraid of a little thorn bush. Where'd you go, Tina? Hippos aren't afraid of thorns. Ouch! Either. Oh! Oh no, help me! Uh, you should be ashamed of yourself. Huh? Popping our balloon was so naughty. You're a very bad thorny plant. No, Tina. She doesn't know better. She just needs to be taught good manners. Oh, really? Very nice to meet you. There, your turn. Introduce yourself. Go on. Happy to meet you. Uh, Planty? Now that we've introduced ourselves, what's next? Next, we should teach her everything we know. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Energy is stored in electrons. Only plant cells have a cell wall. They also have chlorophyll. Oh. Hmm? Planty, try and behave yourself. Oh. I know what's wrong. Planty thinks this is boring. She needs hobbies. <clears throat> Planty, look. Maybe one day you can do this. trying to teach a thorny plant manners. You know, I was thinking about it. Maybe she doesn't need to be taught. But what happens when she grows up? Plant D will still be our favorite little plant. raised her well after all, right? Tina, are we sure about this? One of her mixed upbringings sets her apart. I'm not worried at all. Planty knows what makes her special. Over your way, miss. Thank you, Sir Gentle Hippo. Uh. Oh, wow! Now they're all fancy, just like our little plant. We raised her to be a good role model. Good, good job, job, Planty! Planty. 
Thank you, Planty. Oh, my Planty. I'm super extra proud. A present for the piglets. Catch this! Keep going! All right! Yeah! Whoops! Oops! Tina, Tony, do you know where to find the bread tree? There is no such thing. <laughs> Actually, there is. Uh -huh. Let's go pick up some pastries! <laughs> It doesn't grow pastries. It's just called that. Told you so. <laughs> you mean that up too. A bread tree? That's crazy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's our birthday today. Come by. We will. Definitely. Tony, what are we going to give the piglets? Well, Tina, what are they like? I know just what they don't like. Mr. Dragon, it is I who will get you! Ah, somebody help! Don't be afraid, Princess, for it is I, Sir Hippopotamus, here to slay... Somebody help! Princess, get away from me! I'm very sensitive! Aha! Uh -huh. I've got the high ground. Now to feel the no. princess... I'm not playing anymore. I'm not used to running from such a dangerous princess. <laughs> Got it. No princesses for them. Maybe we could give them a ball. The piglets love soccer. Nice. Hmm? Hey! <laughs> Come play soccer! Yay! <clears throat> you guys go on. We're having jam tarts. Would you like some? We also have tea. I would! I love jam tarts! Yay! <laughs> Oh, mm -mm. Hmm, I guess they like danishes more. And they like circuses, too. Hello, I'm Tony the Magnificent with my wild pig. Oh, you... Stop it! Just leave me alone. That's not how this works. Do what Tony says. Ugh, like this. Yeah, we're wild animals. I wouldn't exactly say they like the circus. I know. The piglets love secrets. Secret? Secret! Whoa! Let's go see! Oh, I don't know! This way. To the left! I can't wait! I'm so excited! Hi, there you way to get it! Now which way do we go? The right or left? Oh, there! Okay, that way! Go! Let's grab a balloon and a ball. I'll get the flower. Woo! Whoa! No, no way! way. <laughs> Happy birthday, piglets! This, this is, is for you! you. <laughs> we have to share to find the gift. Score a goal! A ball! I call dibs! A goal! That's for you too! <laughs> Hi, Tony. What are you doing? This is the invention the world has been dreaming of. Awesome. But what's it for? For time traveling. I'm going to climb in and go way back in the past. Way back in the past. 
Uh, Tony, maybe you should forget about it. I mean, what is there to do in the past? There's nothing wrong with being here. Tina, what are you talking about? There's so much to do there. You can paint caves, make spears and necklaces, fill the time using the sun, dance ancient dances. Hmm? All set. Goodbye, Tina. Onward! Uh, I mean, backward, into the past. Tony, what about me? Wait for me here. Three, two, one, lift off! Tony, you're back already! No, Tina, something went wrong. Oh no, it's broken. That's good, you can stay here with us. Tina, you don't understand it all. I do, Tony. Hmm. Tony! Tony! The machine is working! That's impossible. I tried everything. Well, it worked for me. I went to the past. You won't believe what it's like. Come on! He does it. Tony, too. Travel, Tony! Three, two, one, lift off! <laughs> See, Tina, I told you so. Ah! Tina? Piglets? What's going on? Whoa! I'm Chinchina, the mammoth, and these are the saber-toothed piglets. Ah! Welcome to Stone Cookie Village. I'm in the past, and my machine works? <laughs> Where are you off to, visitor from the future? I want to find a prehistoric hippo. Well, I'm a hippo. Huh? I'm just not very big yet. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was nice to meet you, Mr. Guest. Or you best be getting home. I did really want to paint some caves. Uh. <laughs> now, what should I leave behind for the future? What are you all do? Huh? Hmm. I mean, I never thought I'd see a pterodactyl. The sun is so high in the sky. You must be getting home, Mr. Guest from the future. Yeah, but I did really want to learn how to make spears and beads. Oh. Prehistoric fishing and prehistoric singing? I want a cave of my own, too. All right, I'm staying in your time. <gasps> Tony, tell us about Cookie Village in the future. What's it like? In the future, we have yummy ice cream, plus bicycles and pies. Also, science and computers, and friends. And, oh no, Tina's there. I've stayed here too long. Goodbye, new friends. <laughs> <laughs> Tina! Tina, Piglets! You won't believe what I've seen! Hey, so it was all pretend? I'm sorry, Tony. You wanted it so bad. I was just trying to make you happy. So you... you got up to all that? For me? Thanks, friends! That was awesome! Hello! Can anybody tell me if I got the part? <laughs> <laughs> Hide and sneak. One, two, five, seven, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Where are you? Ah. Oh. Found you. <laughs> come on out. Always the first one found in this game. Just one more left. I'll use my intuition. <laughs> Anyway, Tina's it next. I accept. Uh, what if 
What if I could be it again? I need the practice too. One, two, three, twelve, a hundred. Ready or not, here I come. Walking over lots of ground, looks like someone has been found. One and two, I found you. Come on, this round's done. <laughs> Intuition, go. Let's find our friend. I give up. Uh, ah, I'm the best at this. Hiding here, hiding there. I'll look everywhere. I think my ears are too big for this game. Uh, no, not true. The game's too small for your magnificent ears. I can count longer this time. That way, you'll have more time to hide. That just won't help. Count to a million, it huh? doesn't matter. Aww. One, two, three, twenty, twenty zillion. It's easy for pigs. They're tiny. Elephants need something much bigger for us to hide, like a big pit. Whoa. A big pit. <laughs> come out now! You win! Tina! Hey, Tina, come out! You won't even find me in here. There's not a chance. Tina, <laughs> you win! Where are you? Time to go claim my win. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, okay, this is fine. Um, I got this just... Stay calm. Don't panic. Help me! Oof. Any luck? Still lost. Tina, what if... What if we don't see her ever again? And she's gone forever. I'm so sad. <laughs> Let's not worry yet. I'll use my intuition. Intuition. Go time. Come on. We really need you, Intuition. This is really important. <laughs> Shh. That's not me, though. So then, who's that crying? <laughs> Tina the elephant, who could never win hide and seek, finally won, but was never found again. What a sad story. <laughs> Found her? Yes, you found me! I give up! I lose! I've never been so happy to be found. My intuition helped. And your hair was visible too, because it's so long! I'm happy you're the way you are, Tina. And I'm happy you have intuition. <laughs> Packing the essentials. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Packing is an art form. It's all about bringing only what we need. Nothing useless. Of course, so it's absolutely necessary to take... <gasps> Balloons! <laughs> I was thinking something more like this pail, so we can collect mushrooms. What if we find blueberries? That's a good point. I'll bring... A second bucket! Oh, I can't wait to go. We'll pick berries and mushrooms, and we'll have a feast. <laughs> But all of that, won't all that wear us out? We should also pack the bed. Uh, how are we going to take that with us? Yeah, Tina? duh. Well, duh, it's on wheels. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, <laughs> you okay? And the boot as well. Of course we'll need that. Uh, what? That should be everything. Ready? Don't you think we're bringing too much stuff? I'm sure it will all come in handy. Ugh. It's time to go. Hmm. Guess we'll have to push it down. Please remind me why it was necessary to bring the bed with us. 
It's so we can take a nap when we get tired. I'm tired now. Phew. Already? We haven't even started mushroom hunting yet. Ooh, ooh, Have ooh. a seat, please. Mm -hmm. Chop, chop now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah! Hmm. What do I do now? That's my last good chair. Huh? <laughs> Tina, Tony, come here a second. <laughs> Thank you both so kindly. <laughs> There. This goes here. That can't be that heavy, can it? Ugh. Ooh, I know. Here. Ugh. Does that help? I guess it's a little lighter. Ugh. How's it going, Fox? Catching fish? Uh, there aren't any fish by this shore. If only I had some kind of... <gasps> a boat! Thank you so much! Now I can catch lots! These balloons are just annoying! I don't think... Ugh, we need them at all! You never know when you'll need them. Plus, they look super pretty. Oh, it's the rabbits! Hi, you guys! Hi, I'm Tina and Tony! <laughs> What's going on? Felicia's birthday. Ooh, super fun! Why is everyone crying? Well, Felicia got a balloon because it's her birthday. But now everyone else wants one, too. Let's see. <laughs> one cabbage cake coming right up. Yay! Blow the candles! Blow the candles! Blow the candles! <sighs> see? I was right. It all came in handy at some point. Not like your buckets. That we didn't Stop even right use. Stop right there! <gasps> huh? What? What's there? A huh? mushroom. That'll be our first one. <gasps> Another one. It's blueberries! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have to admit, your buckets came in handy after all. We really are good at packing for trips, aren't we? <laughs> A miracle song! Oh, look at this poor plant. What's wrong with it? It's not growing. It just needs water. Look. <sighs> Maybe some music would cheer him up. <laughs> when life makes you worry, there's no time to frown. My happy little ditty will never get you down. There's always a tomorrow. You'll have a better day. My song will make you happy. My song is basically magic. Huh. <laughs> Good morning. Huh? Right. By the way, my plum goes are ready for harvest. You want to try some? Yeah! No! My plum goes! Leave it, beast! You're the worst! There's no need for that. I'll just sing her my magic song, and then she'll behave. Can your magic song save my perfect plum mm -hmm. goes? Sure. Let's try scaring her away. Scaring doesn't work. You have to explain what they're doing wrong. Miracle, if you keep eating 
something like that, you're going to explode. Huh? Huh? My garden! It's all gone! All my hard work! Get over here! You're as good as... I bet they don't think that spanking is good for children anymore. This isn't gonna work out. We need to lure it into a trap. <gasps> All good. I hope this doesn't hurt her. This is still way better than if she gets smacked by that rat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, you okay down there? No, <sighs> my, my garden. My great harvest. Uh. No options left. You may as well sing now. Nothing else has worked here. Ahem, ahem. When life makes you worry, there's no time to frown. My happy little ditty will never get you down. There's always a tomorrow. You'll have a better day. My song will make you happy. Is I really that out of tune? She made a cocoon. Do it again. Oh my. <gasps> She's beautiful! My little miracle bug! She is quite miraculous. It's all because my song made her do it. In that case, Tina, can you use that magic song on my garden? Of course. When life makes you worry, there's no time to frown. My happy little ditty will never get you down. There's always a tomorrow, you'll have a better day. My song will make you happy, and everything's okay. The best story ever. I'll tell it! No, I'll tell it. Sign up for the Storyteller Contest. The prize... Is a blueberry pie. <gasps> Yum! A pie! <gasps> Let's tell it all together! Rabbit registered. Next! I also, you know, want to tell a story. Great! I'll register you as a participant. Tell another part. Sorry, Penguin, I didn't catch that. What did you want? Tell another dog. He wants to take part in the competition, too. Right, Penguin? Upper, upper. All right, but what language will you be telling your story in? Nobody will understand you, huh? He will participate with an interpreter. And who is the interpreter? Me. Tina, you don't speak Penguin. Big deal. I'll learn. I think I'll just imagine that I'm a penguin and I'll understand penguin right away. Um, what? The best way to learn a foreign language is in your sleep. <laughs> What? Your words do not fit in my head. I have to jump a bit so they can settle in there. And that's it. That's the story. Our next storyteller is Penguin. Interpreted by Tina. Why is Tina 
the interpreting. It's all clear. Tina, don't interpret. We understand everything as it is. And then what happens? Everybody understands it. It was you who taught everybody, Tina. It turns out a friend can always be understood, even if he speaks penguin. The most important thing is to listen. And the prize for the best story goes to... Yeah. <laughs>